So we're at a very special part of the program where we want to recognize the recipients of two very special awards, the Stan Huff Education Award and the Lark Award for Distinguished Contributions. The Stan Huff Education Award honors one of Lloyd's pioneers or Lloyd's pioneers and steadfast champions, Dr. Stan Huff. Without Dr. Huff's continuous support and commitment, Lloyd would not have achieved the accomplishments nor have the widespread adoption that we enjoy today. The award is granted to individuals who are studying healthcare informatics or a related field. Our goal is to instill our strong belief of developing Lloyd in the context of learning and to cultivate interoperability not only among standards, but among users of those standards. We are very pleased to bestow the Stan Huff Education Award upon three deserving recipients this year. Please hold your applause until after we've announced all recipients. Ashley Pugh is a Phyllis Torter Health Equity Fellow at the National Committee for Quality Assurance, or NCQA. She is currently working on clinical specifications for digitized fetus measures that Dr. Schneider just shared with us. And these measures, which of course, use standardized terminologies like Lloyd, SNOMED, et cetera. Ashley is here to better understand how clinical terminologies support health information exchange. Our next recipient, Lokesh Kumar Adhikari, is a medical laboratory technologist and is currently a PhD at George Mason, a PhD student at George Mason University in Fairfax, Virginia. Mr. Adhikari is here to learn how Lloyd is playing a key role in the implementation of laboratory information systems and to learn how Lloyd encoded information flows from instruments to the LIS. And Ms. Oche Chuku Anaduba is a PhD student at the Keck Graduate Institute of Applied Life Science. She is here to learn about how Lloyd supports health information exchange and how Lloyd codes are integrated into FHIR. She is he also here to understand more about terminology content development and terminology tooling. So everyone, please join me in congratulating the recipients. Recipients, if you are here today, please stand. Uh, to Ms. Pugh, Mr. Adikari, and Ms. Anyaduba, you have come to the right place for all of your learning needs. Moving on, the Loic Award for Distinguished Contributions recognizes exceptional and enduring actions, activities, and accomplishments that advance and promote Lloyd in its use to improve health and healthcare. To present the award, we're going to model the Academy Award approach. A previous recipient will present the award to this year's recipient. And now I'll turn the floor over to Ricky Merrick from APHL, the 2021 recipient, Who's going to who is joining us virtually and who will present the award to the 2023 recipient? Good morning, everybody. It is I it is my pleasure and privilege to have been working with Andrea for a long time, and I'm honored to be the one to present the Loink Award for Distinguished Contributions to Andrea Pitkus. Andrea's unique career path has made for a, a subject matter expert trifecta. Her medical laboratory training provides the viewpoint of the laboratorian, including the consideration for compliance with U.S. federal regulations like CLIA. Her PhD accreditation in health informatics with a focus on pathology informatics and clinical decision support deepened her understanding of data modeling. And her time spent traveling the country supporting hands-on standard implementation, leading, leading the laboratory interoperability collaborative. All these experiences, as well as presenting on webinars about lab interoperability 
to audiences of very different learning levels for the past 13 years, have honed her skills in listening to pertinent needs. Andrea adds applicability to any conversation, either by asking open-ended questions or by pointing out viewpoints not yet discussed. And her attention to details, typical for any laboratorian, ensures a full breadth of options is considered. She has been a member of the Loink Lab Committee since March of 2018, and through her role as implementer across many different domains of laboratory, she has utilized Loink for almost two decades and submitted many term requests. However, her pitiful, uh, pivotal contributions to Loink focus on the expansion of Loink's interoperability with other standards like HL7, UCAM, SNOMED, and ICD used both in US federal and international collaboratives. It's a joy to witness her perspectives and I'm very appreciative of all her efforts all around. A mutual friend told me, I'm so glad she didn't become a helicopter pilot. We need her in our corner and I couldn't agree more. Please join me in congratulating Andrea. Thank you, Ricky, and thank you Congratulations, Andrea, for this very deserving award. I usually am not like speechless, but um, not quite what, sure what to say. But um, and it's kind of funny because Ricky's kept a good secret <laughs> since we're presenting tomorrow. Um, I do want to thank um, everyone for all the contributions over the years because it is truly a team effort, um, as Ricky said. There's been a lot of knowledge sharing. There's a lot of work by multiple people, whether it's those who've gone on before us um, who are no longer with us here at Loink, people like Clem and Stan who started Loink way back when, and those you know who are learning like the students and folks. It's really exciting to see more laboratory professionals keep involved, and you know who knows where the future is going with this. I won't have the the. Comments like Clem usually says, you know, try to get this solved in your lifetime because it is complex from a lab perspective. And, you know, it's to the leadership of folks like with Pam on the Lab Link Committee and others, you know, too numerous to count. Um, there's still a lot of work to do. It's not going to get solved overnight, but um, it's been a pleasure working and leaning and learning from everyone. Thank you so much. Well deserved. Thank you. Again, well deserved. Congratulations again to the recipients of the Standoff Education Award and to Dr. Pinkus for Andrea for her distinguished contributions to Mike. <laughs>